you got Dylan here on another Patreon request music reaction video. Tonight's Patreon request comes to me from Stephen Kendrick, who must have been in the Christmas spirit when he asked me to react to Frank Kelly and his Christmas countdown. It seems that this comedic take on the 12 days of Christmas was recorded and put on an album called, and I have to look at my notes because it's a long title, Frank Kelly's Christmas Countdown and Other All-Time Favorites, which was released in 1996. And for those who don't know, because I had never heard of Frank myself, so he was an Irish actor, singer, and writer, best known for playing Father Jack Hackett on the British network sitcom Father Ted. With a career that covered television, radio, theater, and film, Frank first released tonight's comedy monologue in 1982, and it reached number eight on the Irish Singles Chart that year. Sadly, we lost this legend in 2016. Rest in peace, Frank. I've never heard of him before, but I know Steven's track record in comedy, and he never disappoints with his choices. So I'm going to guess that I'm going to enjoy this. And with that being said, I'll be reacting to Frank Kelly's Christmas Countdown. By the way, this is audio only. There's no video. You know how we do it over here. I'm just going to be looking awkwardly while listening to this. And I apologize ahead of time. Day one. Dear Nola, thank you very much for your lovely present of a partridge in a pear tree. We're getting the hang of feeding the partridge now, although it was difficult at first to win its confidence. It bit the mother rather badly in the hand, but they're good friends now, and we're keeping the pear tree indoors in a bucket. Thank you again. Yours affectionately, Gubnet O'Lunacy. Day two. Dear Nola, I cannot tell you how surprised we were to hear from you so soon again, and to receive your lovely present of two turtle doves. You really are too kind. At first, the partridge was very jealous and suspicious of the doves, and they had a terrible row on the night the doves arrived. We had to send for the vet. But the birds are okay again, and the stitches is due to come out in a week or two. The vet's bill was eight pound, but the mother is over her annoyance now, and the doves and the partridge are watching the telly from the pear tree as I write. Yours ever, Gobnet. Day three. Dear Nola, we must be foremost in your thoughts. I had only posted my letter when the three French hens arrived. There was another sort out between the hens and the doves, who sided with the partridge, and the vet had to be sent for again. The mother was raging because the bill was sixteen pound this time, but she has almost cooled down. However, the fact that the bird's droppings keep falling down on her hair while she's watching the telly doesn't help matters. Thanking you for your kindness, I remain your governor. Day 4. Dear Nola, you mustn't have received my last letter when you were sending us the four calling birds. There was pandemonium in the pear tree again last night, and the vet's bill was thirty-two pound. The mother is on sedation as I write. I know you meant no harm, and remain your close friend, Gobnet. Day five. Nola, your generosity knows no bounds. Five gold rings. When the parcel arrived, I was scared stiff that it might be more boards, because the smell in the living room is atrocious. However, I don't want to seem ungrateful for the beautiful rings. Your affectionate friend, Gobnet. Day six. Nola, what are you trying to do to us? It isn't that we don't appreciate your generosity, but the six geese have not alone nearly murdered the Colin birds, but they lay their eggs on top of the vet's head from the pear tree, and his bill was sixty-eight pound in cash. My mother is munching sixty grains of Valium a day and talking to herself in a most alarming way. You must keep your feelings for me in check, Gobnet. Day seven. Nola, we are not amused by your little joke. Seven swans a-swimming is a most romantic idea, but not in the bath of a private house. We cannot use the bathroom now because they have gone completely savage and rush the door every time we try to enter. If things go on this way, the mother and I will smell as bad as the living room carpet. Please lay off. It is not fair, Gobnet. Day 8. Nola, who the hell do you think gave you the right to send eight hefty maids of milk in here to eat us out of house and home? Their cattle is all over the front lawn and has trampled the hill over the mother's rose beds. The swans invaded the living room in a sneak attack, and the ensuing battle between them and the calling birds, turtle doves, French hens and partridge made the battle of the Somme seem like Wanderley Wagon. The mother is on a bottle of whiskey a day as well as the sixty grains of Valium. I'm very annoyed with you, Gobnet. Day nine. Listen, you louser. There's enough pandemonium in this place night and day without nine drummers drumming. 
by the eight flaming maids of milk and has beaten me poor old alcoholic mother out of her own kitchen and gobbling everything in sight. I'm warning you, you're making an enemy of me. Governor, day ten. Listen, manure face. I hope you will be haunted by the strains of the ten pipers piping which has sent a tormentous last night. They were aided in their evil work by those maniac drummers, and it wasn't a pleasant sight to look out the window and see eight hefty maids and milking, hogoing round with the ensuing punk rock uproar. My mother has just finished her third bottle of whiskey on top of 124 grains of allium. You'll get yours. Governor not all alone, I say. Day 11. You have scandalized my mother, your dirty Jezebel. It was bad enough to have eight maids of milk and dancing to punk music on the front lawn. But they've now been joined by your friends, the eleven lords a-leapin'. And the antics of the whole lot of them would leave the most decadent days of the Roman Empire looking like outlook. I'll get you yet, you old bag. Day 12. Listen, slurry head. You have ruined our lives. The twelve maidens dancing turned up last night and beat the living daylights out of the eight maids of milkin' because they found them carrying on with the eleven lords a leaping. Meanwhile, the swans got out of the living room where they'd been hiding since the big battle and savaged hell out of the lords and all the maids. There were eight ambulances here last night and the local civil defence as well. The mother is in a home for the bewildered and I'm sitting here up to me neck in birds, droppings, empty whiskey and valium bottles, birds, blood and feathers where the flaming cows eats the leaves off the pear tree. I'm a broken man. <laughs> that was genius. Absolutely genius. I never heard a take on the 12 Days of Christmas like that where somebody actually sent all those things to somebody and I'm going to guess it was someone the woman and I, I didn't get her name but the woman loved the guy who was writing the letters and his letters got progressively angrier and angrier <laughs> after the the five golden rings everything just went down <laughs> I could see why it was you know awesome like it did so well uh I have never heard of that over here though. I'm not sure if that was a thing in the United States or maybe I'm just late to the party as I usually am, but no, this was great. Like I said, it was an amazing take on that classic, you know, cause I never realized how many animals that would have been on top of all the people and just that would have been so chaotic in one house if something like that really really did happen matter of fact i was just wondering if all these things were real like what is a turtle dove i still have no clue what that is the idea was amazing and awesome and i just loved i love frank's accent i think it had more oomph to it because he was irish and with an irish accent and when it was starting to get angrier and angrier in the letters like, I felt that. That's one of the Christmas carols that I always got tired of, but I, I do like that take. So thank you very much, Stephen, for suggesting that. Um, again, you don't disappoint with your comedy. <laughs> what did you guys think? Did you enjoy that reaction? I sure hope you did. And if you did, please give me a like. And if you're new to my channel, I hope there's something on here that will make you want to subscribe. I guess this will be my little four way into the Christmas season and into my react with seven days of reacting to Christmas songs uh, chosen by you guys. So um, this is a nice beginning to it because I was not in the Christmas mood at all prior to this. Hopefully that changes quickly as Christmas is approaching quickly. Thank you so much for joining me on this Patreon reaction request video, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye!